Silvius here, back from the grave, uh, continuing the third part of my Minecraft Let's Play. Play Selected World. Uh, right. This was the last thing that happened. Uh, creepers. Am I right? Alright. So, before all of my crap exploded, the game plan was supposed to have been go do some mining, get some supplies, all that fun stuff. The plan is now repair the giant hole in the middle of my base. Shovel? This little ledge is driving me nuts, so I'm gonna kill some of it. I mentioned it before, but I don't really like these nonsense structures. Today, unlike the last couple of days, was blessedly not scorching hot. So, you know, miracle in that sense. I hate the heat. I want to live in Siberia. I think I mentioned that, though. Antarctica's okay, too. <laughs> Anywhere cool. I'm not a big fan of snow. Because it is kind of annoying. It's pretty, though. But I will take snow over wretched heat any day. Without a second thought. Last little bit of dirt there. Uh, sword. Looks like, uh, the explosion actually destroyed some blocks, which makes this even more obnoxious. Yeah, definitely destroyed some blocks. And it looks like I don't have enough wood either. Er, yeah, wood. Looks like I don't have enough, um, ladder. That's the word I'm looking for. Ladder. Uh, oh, that's right. It, I died, too. I forgot about that. Oh, man. Oh, I guess I collected all the fence. Huh. So it didn't destroy any of the... <laughs> it destroyed that, though. Right there. Alright. I need to develop some kind of anti-creeper strategy at some point. Okie dokie. Let's get rid of this, these stupid seeds. I suppose we'll plant this tree. Right there. I'm gonna have to go collect sand for all these nice windows I have set up here. Alright. You know, I think the last thing, one of the things I did was, you know, organize all of my picks and stuff like that. That's all ruined, too. Ah, uh, bah humbug. Because I have plenty of meat, I think I can throw away the rotten flesh. Alright. Let's get to searching. If I remember correctly... Odd. I guess that was... Exploded shovel from that creeper? Wonder how else. Wonder if there's anything else I lost. I didn't pick up. Alright, well, anyway. If I remember correctly, there was a ravine over this way, so I'm gonna go explore that. There's a good chance that I don't remember correctly, though. Yeah, now I got some pointless gunpowder. All right. There is a good chance. I don't remember seeing this before. So there is a good chance that I'm wrong and there is not a ravine over here. All 
I honestly can't remember. Sort of hard to keep sense of my direction. I should try to make a habit of, like, looking at the sun. Alright, this does appear to be a ravine. Question is, how do I want to tackle it? First, I want to have mine this uh, gold, though. So, primary goals here are, of course, diamond. Diamond is always good to have. Iron. Always need iron. And other things? Okay, I don't really care enough to climb up there for that. Okay, I can safely mine that without dying. Well, you suck. Bridge time. Alright, let's go. Make a staircase down into the ravine. Grab this iron while I'm at it. Not that much iron there, but that is how I set it, so I suppose that's not something I can complain about. Right, keep going down. Boop. Alright, what do we got? Alright, I'm going to make like a little land bridge across so I can hit that iron. Do do do. I remember the one time I was doing this, and my, uh, I'm holding the shift key down with my pinky finger while moving, and it, like, cramped up, I guess. <laughs> so I just released the button, and then, uh, I just, you know, plummeted to my death. I can't be the only person who has ever done that. Right? Like, somebody else has done that before. Please? Somebody else has done that before? It would be embarrassing if it was only me. Cardinal rule of Minecraft still is to never dig down while you're standing on top of a block, but I think it's probably safe to kind of do it every now and then here. Oh, yeah. Iron. So much iron. Okay, or not a lot of iron. One of those. This ravine is pretty deep. Mmm. Mine a block of that crap. Get my iron. My sweet, sweet iron. This ravine is, in fact, pretty deep, I have to say. And it's got creepers in it. No, on the creepers. Gotta do that now. Oh no, my pickaxe! Get this coal. Which is actually convenient, because I think I was... Yeah, I was basically running low on coal. To be fair, so far I've done basically no mining in this game. <clears throat> so it makes sense that I wouldn't be overflowing with coal. But I'm here to rectify that oversight. And do plenty of mining. And get plenty of coal. And plenty of iron and plenty of other things. Alright, and because I'm an idiot I need to put that there otherwise I'll forget my way. Alright. That looks like an enderman. Yep, that's an enderman. Annoyingly, it looks like this ravine was not just a simple ravine, and instead looks like the beginning of a series of cave complexes. And while those are nice and all, they're also kind of annoying. Oh, look at this. I connect to the ground here? That oh, looks like I do connect to the ground. Let's make a little staircase going up.
I didn't really have to dig down all that way. Annoying way, it seems. Torch so that I can remind myself where it's at. Alright. So this looks like a dead end. I'm going to mine this little bit of coal. Uh, you know what occurs to me? I am hungry. Not in game. Although it looks like my food is getting low in game too. But I mean in real life. I have not eaten today. In fact, I woke up like in the worst way possible. I complained about my allergies in the last uh, two Let's Plays. I woke up to a sneezing fit from allergies, and then was my throat itched so bad that I was just incapable of going back to sleep. I only got four and a half hours of sleep last night. <clears throat> I did end up taking a nap, though. Which makes me sound like an idiot, but you know what? It's the privilege of the miserable to take naps. Oh, crap. That's one of my pet peeves. Why am I blocking this here, anyway? <clears throat> I left that opening up over there so that I could go, uh... down from the grass level. And now I'm blocking it for some reason. I meant to block over here. There we go. All blocked up. So that way I know I can't go back that way. Alright. Shall we explore over there? I'm gonna make a couple of more uh, torches. Because I'm definitely gonna need them. Three is not a sufficient amount of torch. So some people, I suppose, probably do things like they only put torches on the right side and things like that. So that way they know how to like backtrack. Uh, I'm what you would call an idiot, and I don't do that. Uh, I put torches wherever I think it looks neat to put torches. Also, I mean, you know, there's situations where, like, you know, in that intersection right there, where coming from a different angle would make it look different, and you could still end up getting lost. I get lost all the time when I'm underground. Hmm. If I try to block this off without removing this piece of coal, I'll see the coal later on, and it'll mess up my mind. So I gotta mine this coal. I'll put a torch here for light sources, just so that I can see. There we go. None shall pass. I gotta block it off on this side too. Ooh, more gold. Ooh. There we go. Alright. Some iron. Tasty, tasty iron. I'm at the point where I'm so hungry that I think iron is tasty. I think I need a Snickers bar. And to get one of those, I would need to access some kind of store. Or some uh, Amazon drone delivery. I hear unpleasanties. Unpleasanties. Whatever. I will deal with whatever growled at me later. Because I see some uh, multicolored blocks that I can mine. I can't wait to get diamonds so that I can get a diamond pick and just, you know, go through this way faster. I wish iron lasted longer because I would totally just make iron tools all the time. But iron is actually very useful uh, for more purposes than just uh, diamond is. And then it doesn't last anywhere near long enough for me to even consider using it. Except for when I have to, obviously. I say that right as I'm using an iron pickaxe, but... That was a necessity, to get the, whatchamacallit, the gold. So much coal here! This is why I, I turned the, um... 
the spawn sizes down. That way I'm not just spending like five minutes mining one single pieces, one single mass of a thing. I hate when I do that. I'm like mining this block and then right as it's done, I move my mouse over. No! 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 Oh, I did it too fast. Look at all this coal. This is so much coal. And then iron. <laughs> so much iron. I still just want the uh, the diamond, diamond, and hopefully I can find a like series of treasure chests. Get myself a um, saddle. That's the word I'm looking for. Saddle. I mentioned before I used to play with like one of my buddies, and uh, a lot of times I would. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, word that means like when a boss or supervisor gives tasks to another person. But I want to I, I want to say dictate, but I know that's not it. Um, it's gonna kill me. Whatever. So anyway, though, long story short is I would usually give him the task of being like, yo, go through all these annoying caves and mine out all the valuables. But playing solo here kind of uh, leaves that task solely to me. And it looks like this whole path is now a dead end. Which you may think is something that I'm not happy about, but I'm actually thrilled, because it means I can close off this whole thing and not need to go down it anymore. Oh, uh, but it's all nighttime now. That's not good. Alright. Sealed. How did I get up here? Ah, uh, put the block over it. Whatever. I'll collect my block back. through here. Alright, we can go down that way, or we can go that way, or we can kill that creeper before it kills me. Death to the exploder! Huh. Must have been injured. Probably from falling. Alright. Left or right? I would flip a coin, but I don't have one. Ooh, I have dice though. So, odds I go to the left, evens I go to the right. Odds it is. I rolled a five, by the way. Let's get this coal. <sighs> Yay, it was a small one. I didn't really want to spend an hour digging up coal again. Ooh, I spun too fast there. Alright, my dice. My dice did not help me much here. It sent me. Well, you know what? As a person who plays video games, and I'm sure most people know this, who also play video games, if, you know, to the, if one direction is obviously the right choice to, like, proceed, you always go the other ways first, because you never know what's down those hallways. <laughs> Mini bosses, hidden bosses, special chests and stuff like that, you always go down the wrong path first. It's an automatic thing. Is this... This is somewhere I have not been before. Uh, oh, I'm starving. Whoops. But yeah, my dice lied to me. This is a direction I want to go. Alright. Left, right. Gonna roll the dice again. Odds is left again. I rolled a six this time. I'm going right. One piece of iron so far. Two pieces of iron so far. Two pieces of iron. <laughs> Good job, dice. Okay, that time you let me down. Not even gonna leave my uh, torch over there. Gonna collect that. All right. In this case, we go to the left. Uh, 
You know, I, like I said, I usually play on a uh, peaceful. So on peaceful, I still have to pay attention to like lava and falls and stuff like that. Uh, but now I definitely also need to be paying attention to things that want to kill me. I also need to be paying attention to potential branches on the ceiling that I wasn't looking for. Not tree branches, obviously, like branching pathways. At this point, I'm considering just not collecting coal anymore. <laughs> it's such a hassle to collect all the coal. There's so much coal in the game, it's in such big, um... Oh, veins? Yeah, veins, I think. A uh, coal vein. That's the right word, I think. Alright, got all of the stupid coal. And now I can continue going down into this presumably death pit. Uh, I gotta get that iron out somehow. Eh. Eh, there we go. Iron collected. Looks like we got another branching path. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like a branching path. Alright, dice roll again. Evens continues to be to the right. We're out of four this time. Is this a loop? It looks like a loop. I looped, didn't I? Yep, I looped. You know... <laughs> Ooh, emeralds though. Alright. I'm gonna mine this uh, iron, and then I'm gonna block off the loop. All right, loop blocked on that side. Loop blocked on this side. I'm gonna go. Hey, look, another <laughs> another branch, and more coal. So much coal. For real, I am kind of considering just not collecting the rest of it. I probably have enough. Yeah, I think that's enough coal. I'm going to wait until I get another 64 block, and then I'm going to just stop collecting coal. Unlike iron, which I'm going to use up in massive quantities, and which is actually like semi-rare. Same with uh, redstone, gold, and diamond, obviously. Coal, if I run out of it, I can always immediately find gargantuan quantities, so. However, since the rest of that's annoying, I don't want to accidentally collect any of that stupid whatever kind of block that is. I'm going to just leave the rest of that there. I don't want to get rid of that block, because I don't want it. Alright. Dice me. Evens is to the right. Roll to five. Not the coal. Ooh, diamond. It's beautiful. Ooh, more diamond. It's even more beautiful. Achievement get. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. On the topic of diamonds, did you know that diamonds are basically like a useless stone? Bats. Yeah, so diamonds are basically uh, like one of the more common gemstones, and they have no real value. Uh, which is why, if you've ever tried to sell jewelry with diamonds in it that you you know already own, you'll know that the uh, resale value of any kind of diamond jewelry is basically non-existent. All right, dice roll again, real quick. Uh, odds roll to three. Yeah, there's a basically like a illegal cartel monopoly called De Beers that buys up all the diamonds and then only sells a small amount. So they like artificially keep the supply really low, and then they run um, a whole bunch of like ads basically to make diamonds seem like the greatest thing ever. Uh, back in the oh god, I think it was like the 60s, maybe, maybe before that, maybe much before that. They even had a campaign where they sent, like, their spokesmen into schools to tell, like, young girls that were like, a man doesn't love you unless he gives you a diamond ring, and, uh, things like that. And they also had a campaign to be like, 
you know, the whole diamonds are forever thing. Well, that's because they don't want you reselling your diamonds on the market. They want you to buy a diamond ring and then, you know, keep it with you forever. And when you die, keep the diamond ring with you because it's your diamond ring. Don't, like, you know, let that go to your family. Make your family buy another diamond ring. <laughs> yeah, they're actually, like, a really scummy company. But, I mean, from, I guess, a pure, like, capitalist standpoint, they're probably, like, an amazing company. Since they took a basically worthless uh, gemstone and make bajillions of dollars out of it. Bajillions. Oop, wrong pickaxe. So that's my did you know for right now. Till something uh, piques my interest again. Alright, I'm going to roll the dice again. Five. Means we go to the left. Um, Alright, continuing on down this way. Continuing on down this way was a dead end! Do 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 do. All right, that means I can block that off. Oh, what is this? Okay, that must be something I made that I forgot because I'm an idiot. Boop 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 boop. boop. There we go. All right, I do need to make like a little walkway there though. Put a torch. Glad that that's a dead end, so I don't have to make another dice roll. Yay, another dice roll right here, though. Hold on, let me check this. This might be a dead end. This is a dead end. Okay. Not needing the dice roll. Alright. Ooh, more diamonds. I suppose I may have set the diamonds to be too common, which is unfortunate. It's kind of a... Uh, kind of taking away the excitement of finding them when I find them this often. Sure, it's like the same amount of diamonds, but still. Because, you know, I lowered the uh, size of the vein. So even though I might have the same amount of diamonds I would get normally from just finding, like, one or two, the excitement of the find is disappearing. Also, I'm definitely finding them more often than I would because I also turn the height that they can spawn on up. I'm going to do that thing I said I wasn't going to do. Well, I guess I'm at 27 down. Diamonds could spawn at this height, I think, normally. Or now, what are they, 16 up? Yeah, I think they're 16. I could check, but that would be a hassle. And also, I'm pretty confident that nobody really cares. But man, all this gold, all these diamonds, I'm actually getting more gold than I need. But all this gold and uh, diamonds and iron. Ooh, now this is a good one. Alright, that was legitimately exciting. I'm, I was excited about that. Yes, sort of. Ah, I'm yours. Ah! No! I just don't want more of you to spawn. Alright, let's take this out. Quick. We'll even use the better pickaxe. <laughs> I mean, only one chest is kind of annoying, but come on, saddle. No! Saddle! I got horse armor, though. It's like oblivion. Horse armor. At least I didn't have to buy it for like $5. I'm going to collect all this fancy uh, moss-covered cobblestone. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but it is rare, and rare things must be collected religiously. I'm not going to waste my iron pick. I'm totally going to waste my iron pick, because I have diamonds now. Sorry, iron pick. You're not valuable to me anymore. Give me your mossy cobblestone. I'm gonna have to head back too because I'm running out of inventory space. 
Running out of inventory space is uh, <laughs> like an annoying problem. Uh, if you'll look at my like channel on YouTube, you'll see I also have a couple of Let's Plays for a game called Tibia. Uh, it's a real old MMO from I think like 19 yeah 1997 I think it was made. Uh, it's an alright game, kind of hard to get into. Uh, it's got a bunch of like you know glaring flaws, but a whole bunch of cool aspects to it too. Um, if anybody is into MMOs, I do suggest giving it a try. It's low, um, low, like, system requirements. So, I mean, on that end, that's at least good. Diamond tools. Oh, crap on a stick. Uh, still crap on a stick. Alright, throw that down. So yeah, I suggest taking a look at Tibia. It's a pretty cool game. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going back now. Take a look at Tibia if you get the chance. It's a really cool game. Uh, one of the things is that drives me nuts about it is I'm constantly running out of carrying capacity, and I'm also constantly losing my ability to... Uh, carry stuff. My inventories get filled. You have to carry backpacks in the game, right? Uh, and then each backpack, at least normal backpacks, holds 20 items. So you can carry more backpacks, and you can stick backpacks inside of backpacks. In fact, you can have a backpack filled with 20 backpacks that are each filled with 20 backpacks, which are each filled with, I don't know, 20 suits of armor or something like that, if you have the carrying capacity. But in addition to inventory space, you also have carrying capacity you need to get uh, under control. Did I? How did I miss that? Crazy. So yeah, though, you got all this carrying capacity, and then the backpacks themselves have weight. Uh. Oh man. Oh double man. Get out of there! So yeah. Oh boy. It'd be funny if they like knocked me off with an arrow and I just fell to my death right now. And by funny I mean horrible. Okay. So yeah, in Tibia you can get more cap by leveling up and that's the only way to get more carrying capacity. And the different vocations, vocations, character classes if you will, there's only four. Get varying amounts of carrying capacity. Knights carry the most. Paladins, which are not paladins in the traditional video game sense. Paladins are rangers who use holy magic. I'm not really sure why exactly they called them paladins. I think there was a... I know the company's German. I'm guessing there was probably like a communication translation issue. Because they did get the paladins being like holy warriors aspect, but... In no book or video game have I ever seen a paladin whose primary weapon was a crossbow or he used javelins. Anyway, Paladins get the next amount of cap, and then Sorcerers and Druids. Druids are pretty self-explanatory, actually. I'm not going to get into it. Uh, but yeah. So you get all this, like, carrying capacity. Everything weighs something. Your healing potions, your magic runes, your gold, everything weighs something. And then on top of that, you also have limited storage space inside of your backpacks. And then you can carry more backpacks, but your backpacks weigh. It's a vicious cycle. Alright, uh, iron. Tags, string, put the emerald in there, I guess. Diamonds in there. I should make myself a diamond sword. Yeah, make myself a diamond sword. Gunpowder, cobblestone block. I need to make myself another oven. Boom. Alright. And... Alright. Let's eat some of this... Mutton. Mmm. Muttony goodness. Is it turning into daytime or is it turning into nighttime? Uh... 
Oh, looks like it's turning into nighttime. I think. Harder to tell with the rain too. All right, let's go. Chop down some more birch trees. My favorite pastime. It's annoying that there's all these horses around me and I still haven't managed to get my hands on the saddle. I gotta do something about the, uh, my house. Oh, I got so many tasks I have to do. All of them are kind of annoying. Alright. Let's do some construction. Construction function. Construction junction. Man, so much annoying crap. Yeah, I, the 50 some blocks I brought were definitely not a sufficient amount of block. Whoops. I wonder if I can. Can I put like a. I probably can't put a door right there, but I should check. Whoops. Where's my axe? Putting blocks in the wrong spot is the bane of my existence. Amongst many other things that are my, the banes of my existence. <sighs> yep, that was definitely not enough pieces of wood. And now I gotta get glass. Ah, uh, humbug. I'm the Grinch. How was my, uh... Okay, it's not going well. We shall go collect more birch wood. You can never have too much birch wood. You totally can have too much birch wood. You know, could you just leave me alone and let me cut down the tree in peace? Where are you coming from? Whoops. Ah. Cut down a... Man, I gotta pick up all the stupid meat. Rotten meat, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna take... Ah! Ah! Screw you! I just want to chop down trees in peace. No, not with a shovel. Where are they coming from? And why did he pick up his friend's meat? Dude, where are this? I mean, seriously, where are they all coming from? What? What is going on here? Jeez. That was crazy. That was a lot of zombie. I wonder if they're like spawning next to me because it's dark. Oh my god! <laughs> That's That legitimately scared the crap out of me. Dude, what is going on? Okay, I swear that wasn't there like two seconds ago. Probably. Alright. Can I just chop down the tree in peace now? And it's a bunny rabbit. Alright. Oh my god! Die! I'm gonna go kill that gold armored skeleton because he looks silly. That armor did, in fact, serve him pretty well. Ooh, it's a... Another zombie.
Alright. Man, like, look at all these things. What are they all doing around my house? Ugh, that one went. I almost dodged that, but I definitely did not dodge that successfully. Die! Spider mounted skeleton. Okay. Now, I will go cut down the flipping tree. Now, I will go kill the horde of monsters that are still here somehow. Um, wasting valuable charges on my sword by attacking the grass, which is annoying. Alright. Is it everything dead now? No. No! What is this? Die! I'm all arrowed up. At least none of them are in my knee. That would suck. Jeez, that was... Oh, God, that bunny scared the crap out of me, and I knew it was there, too, because I saw it earlier. And there's a creeper over there waiting to blow up my house again. All right, Mr. Creeper. Creeper feature. Don't explode! Yeah, you're dead now. Who's dead? You're dead. Soon I'll be dead too, I'm sure. Oh, come on! For real? I just want to be a lumberjack, and instead I'm a... Uh, undead killing inquisitor and... Uh, a bug exterminator. And I don't want to be either of those things right now. There's another one! I wonder if this is a benefit of it being on hard. I don't know if hard just makes them hit harder, or makes them like more aggressive, or makes them spawn more. Oh, nuts. Well, this didn't destroy my base this time. Jeez. Alright. That's not right. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Now, how do I get power rails? Something like that? Nope. Like that? Nope. Like that? Nope. Ugh. Maybe it's this? Nope. Alright. <laughs> Time to check the wiki. Pausing. Pausing my recording. The wiki tells me that uh, power rails unfortunately require redstone, which I have not acquired any of. This is an unfortunate turn of events for me. It makes me want to cry. Oh, that's right, I was keeping those for a sword. Alright, let's put this crap somewhere. I don't even know what the eyeballs are for. Keep the chest in there. Pick. Get that in there. Alright. First order of business. More birch construction. Alrighty. 
Oh yeah, look how fast I'm going with that. I was going to say, look how fast I'm going without screwing up, but... Alright, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I gotta take that torch away too. Oh, progress is being made, and it's wonderful right now. Crap, on a stick! Actually, we're gonna leave that open. No, we're not. I'm gonna do this instead. And leave that open. Why? Because I'm going to put a second floor on this. Or a third floor. The third floor will be the master bedroom. Oh boy. Okay. I need to get some uh, ladders for going up there. Eventually. But we'll take care of that later. Look at that, it's mostly finished construction. Ah, oh, that's right, I forgot I, the creeper blew up all my um, torches. Stupid creeper. I don't know. Okay, I mean, I didn't build that. <laughs> Good thing I, I I took a peek outside. Oh boy. I mean, to be fair, that was kind of funny though. Now, I want to put torches on this, but where do I want to put torches? There or there? Where do I put the torches down? I put, uh, see those, those are double ceilings, but they are down one, so I guess I want to put torches down one. Yeah. Torch succeeded. Yeah. So that means torch there. Nope, not there. Yep, not there. There. Not there. Not there either. <laughs> Alright. And now I need more torches. Boom. More torches acquired. And thank god I don't have to do that stupid jumping crap to get them here. Now I gotta go accrue a large amount of glass. Sand, which that means. And I don't remember there being a, um, a sandy spot. I guess I could go back into the cave as another option. Right now, I uh, obviously don't have enough viewers on my YouTubes or my streams or anything along those lines. But uh, if things work out and I can get some kind of like any level of following, I would like to eventually do things where I leave those questions up to my viewers. Where should I go? And then I'll maybe let pe like put a poll up or something along those lines. It's an interesting concept. I'm not sure how I would be able to make it work in any of the other games, but I think it kind of works in um, Minecraft. I could do something like, should I go back into the cave for the next uh, episode, or should I go look for sand and, you know, or something along those lines. Um, I could even do things like, 
the next building I build, what material should it be built out of? Wood, sandstone, or cobblestone? The other games I currently have on my uh, YouTube are Tibia and uh, FTL. I don't think either of those would really work. I guess I could do um, for FTL, you know, tell me which ship I should try using next. But Tibia is a little bit harder. I can't really do a where should I hunt monsters next because... But, well, for one, by the time a response gets to me on that one, uh, hunting monsters at that location was probably not a good idea. They'll be too weak for me or something along those lines. Alright. Let's make my last floor. So that way I can move this crap into the building. Oh, I guess I used all my sticks. That sounds like a good amount. Do 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 and I think I am going back into the uh the hole the cave for now. Where's my... there we go. Alright, I'm doing it this way for now, just because I don't actually know what I'm doing for this final area. Playing this by ear right now. <laughs> Alright. Time for this test to end. I'm gonna go back into the cave, because I really want to grab my hands and some redstone so I can make power rails. But I gotta dump some of this crap. Oh, screw it. Who cares? We'll make do with what we have. Like a real man who's unprepared and makes poor decisions. Hop. So many cows around here. We got an abnormally large amount of cows. No pigs are spawning, no sheep are spawning. I don't think I saw any chickens either. Okay, so there's that spot I can go down at. I was going this way. That way. This way. Uh, down this way. Wow, this is uh, pretty down. Okay, not through there. Mm-hmm. How did I miss iron here? What is wrong with me? Oh, it's a decent sized bit of iron too. Bats. Alright. I was up there if I remember correctly. I also remember correctly, I get over there by going this way. Right. I'm going to close that off because if I don't, it's going to irk me every time I walk past it. Which will hopefully not be many more times. I'm also going to close that off. This is why I usually even though it sucks, I get rid of the coal. Because I see that little room, and I see the coal, and I think to myself, did I not go down there? Righto. The 
this is where I had left off at. Iron. Not a lot there, though. Coal. Lava. Oh, man, what is this, like, four different directions I can go? At least that's a dead end. So I can go that way, that way, that way, that way, or that way. That's way. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we'll roll the dice, and if I get a six, I'll just re-roll. Comprende? I rolled a five. So this way it is. No. Oh man, on another branching path. Do I have a shovel on me? Not a shovel, uh, a bucket is what I need. Crap. Jeez, like it's an army. Well, I guess that's where they're coming from. They're all flowing down this little river. Stupid zombies. Come on, get up. I know you can somehow, like, make farmers for these things so that, uh, you keep getting, like, EXP, but I just don't... Oh, redstone. Awesome. Everything is right in the world right now. Still no saddle, though. Ooh, bucket. Still no saddle, though. Right, I'm gonna go get rid of this piece of river. So this is why these uh, cave complexes start getting on my nerves, because we just had like eight branching pathways now. I'm sort of not sure how to get back, and it's going to take me forever to go through all these various pathways. I like it just be linear. Go straight. Alright, let's check through here. I just, I just really want to find the ways that look like they're going to dead end first and go that way so that I can confirm they're dead ends, but it's not happening. And too many random branching paths for me to keep pulling out the die. But man, does this kind of suck. Put a torch. Gotta collect the mossy cobblestone. And all that useless crap I picked up is kind of filling up my inventory right now. Oh boy. So much useless crap. At least I'm getting some nice mossy cobblestone. I think you can get mossy cobblestones in, there's like one biome with like chunks of it laying on the ground. And I'm also pretty sure you can get it in what are uh, the, the jungle temples. The temples are actually really cool. The jungle temples specifically. The, uh, the desert temples, kind of like boring. One second here. Not the right button. Alright, one second. Alright, minor pause there. I came back, though. Uh, <laughs> I had received a phone call. Uh, and it was apparently, today was my grandmother's birthday, and I forgot, well, I didn't forget all about it. I didn't know about it in the first place. So I had to give her a call. Wish her happy birthday. She's like 87 now. She's a sweet little old lady. Anyway. Now that's done. I can get back to the also important thing of mining mossy cobblestone. Ooh, and diamond. That's actually important. 
Uh, I don't remember from which direction I came. Okay. Now I know where I'm going. If I remember correctly, the water was up here originally? I think the water came from... Yeah, I think the water came from up there. Alright. Boop. Badoop. These cave complexes are annoying. I mean, they're cool for, like, trying to find, like, semi-rare resources faster than you would normally. I mean, they definitely are good at that, but... A little bit less connecting pathways would be nice. Because I'm not looking to, you know, spend a decade in here. More diamond! Oh, and more importantly, it's a dead end. Thank God. Now I can get out of here. Oh, I got pickups. Oh. Hiccups are annoying. Pretty much anything when, like, my body just doesn't work the way it's supposed to are annoying. Uh, hence part of the reason why I'm flipping out about my allergies all the time. Because they're definitely, my body not working the way it's supposed to be. Alright, I came from that direction. This pathway is now closed. Closed for maintenance. Or something. Zombie, where did you come from? Oh, I wonder if he came from the spawner back there. Alright, and this is just a double loop, which is awesome. So I can shut this down too. You know what's funny? Still no redstone. I mean, besides that little amount that I uh, I looted from that chest, no redstone. All right, still got to go that way though. A little bit more gold. I think I'm probably good on gold at this point, but it can't hurt to have more. Ooh, diamond. Kind of unnecessary to close this side, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, closed. Creepered. Why is there a creeper up there? All right, I'm gonna take care of the creeper before it explodes and kills me. Did I use? Oh, there's two of them. Are you kidding me? Well, what is that? What is that? It's definitely not my friend. So it dropped a stick? Seriously? So the next time I finish this uh, video, my goal for the night is Wikipedia whatever that monster thing was. Because Endermen are already dangerous enough and I don't really know exactly how they work. Whatever that thing was, was also pretty dangerous. Oh, I, you know, I came up here to go kill those creepers, and then whatever that other thing was. I forgot I was mining gold first, though. So let's grab that gold. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, are you kidding me? It can hit me from there? Up yours. Give me my gold. Can it hit me? Okay, I don't think it's hitting me. Get this iron. Soon I have to turn back. But I do want to see if I can't figure out what's up here a little bit more before I go back. I don't remember to keep checking the ceilings because there's been a, quite a few like diamond ores and whatnot. Oh yeah, dead end. My favorite. So I wonder if those monsters were just doing hanging out back in there then. Whatever. Alright. 
I'm gonna return, dump my supplies, and then I will end this video at that point. Ah! Oh, crap on a stick. Jesus. Oh my god. What was that? It's an army of stupid crap! I thought for sure there would be a spawner in here somewhere. Turn back for now. Hey, look, more stupid crap. Eating the steak, making a mistake. I hear, but I don't see, and it doesn't make me comfortable. All right, well. While I'm on my way back, my same shameless self-promotion real quick. Uh, if you would, comment on my videos, that would be cool. If you would like my videos, that would also be cool. If you would uh, kidnap your whole family and force them to watch my videos, that would also be cool. I don't remember how to leave. <laughs> oh boy. This appears to be a dead end that I did not block for some reason. Why did I not block this? Let me double check. But yeah. Uh, kidnap your family, force them to watch my videos, make them like them. Uh, make them comment too. Keep them there 24 hours a day. If you can. I'm pretty sure they, they won't mind. It's for a good cause. If you're feeling super generous, you could click on one of the ads that shows up in my videos. That would also be really cool. I make somewhere around like two cents every time somebody clicks on an ad, I think. Uh, so yeah, subscribe, follow me, whatever. Uh, check me out on Twitch too, I gotta like make a, a little bit more of a coherent profile for myself at some point. I do live streaming on Twitch every now and then. Uh, I don't do it on Minecraft. Uh, <coughs> annoyingly, the way you speak and interact with your uh, audience in my or on a Let's Play is a lot different from how you do it on a uh, Twitch stream. So, when I'm streaming on Twitch, I can't keep just talking like this. Uh, so, what that ends up meaning is uh, I can't just like port my Twitch streams directly into YouTube and call them Let's Plays for uh, a lot of circumstances. I can kind of. Uh, so I did a, I did port over a couple of my Tibia streams, but yeah. So I don't really stream uh, Minecraft much. I might start if there's any kind of interest in it. But for now it seems like mostly live streaming Tibia and occasionally making Let's Plays for Tibias and then uh, Let's Plays on Minecraft and if I'm still doing FTL uh, maybe. Also, if anybody else has any suggestions for games that sound cool or something along those lines that you'd like to see, uh, I was considering, I said this before, Skyrim. And I also have, uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, which I enjoyed playing, too. So if anybody has an interest in seeing a Let's Play for those, uh, leave a comment. Or something along those lines. Send me a, I guess you can send private messages, I think, through, uh, Yahoo, I think. Whatever. Alright, well, I would like to thank everybody for watching. And I'm going to put myself somewhere funny. Uh, we're going to do this. Mm. Ah! Crap! That was not what I meant to do. Thanks for joining me in. Come back next time.